I discovered uh, uh, the Rhodes was an instrument on the, you know, of itself. It 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 had its own life, its own sound, its 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 own world. Um, I discovered that there was a beautiful sound on it. If you turn the volume down, not up. If you turn it down, and it would then force you, if you wanted volume out of it, to use the pressure, the weight, or the strength from your arms, your wrists, your fingers, and boom, I heard a distinct sound in it. I noticed that all the other guys, whenever they went over to the roads, they turned it up to level eight. And I was like, what you're doing now is amplifying uh, softness. When I was doing some Motown sessions, the Rhodes was there. The Rhodes, the Wurlitzer, the uh, uh, clavinet, the harpsichord, the organ that were, they had a, what was the thing? Oh, the one that I couldn't stand and people used to ask me to, to, to play it in recording sessions was the Farfisa. <laughs> that one was like, oh no, not that one. <laughs> so really do I have to play that one today? <laughs> A funny thing happened once so a Crusaders recording. We decided to run it through a Leslie speaker. We tried it once. I liked it. And then that, it was Stuart Levine and Rick Bacconan. And then I began noticing that every record, and, and we, and we re, uh, recorded quite a number of records with Bacconan and uh, Stuart. And I remember sitting there saying, oh, man. Do I have to use this Leslie again? So I wouldn't battle it. I said, um, I just say, like, uh, I have to tell them that, man, they'll pull that Leslie back in the mixes. Let's just put more of, of the roads out there. And I didn't know it. They were in there thinking, oh, boy, do we have to use this Leslie speaker again? <laughs> they thought I wanted it. They didn't know. I was tired of it. It was okay on one recording. I was, was tired of it. So we were are both like had come to this exact uh, conclusion. We don't really like it now, but we just said, oh, they love it. Oh, he loves it. So it's it stayed there. One day it came out where I said, I'm tired of this thing. And they looked at me and was like, you're kidding me. We've hated it for the last three albums. Thank you.